make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on my Twitch and my other YouTube channel. Those links are down below. Also my Patreon where I have more content on there that I don't post here. Batman. Close. Catwoman. Okay. And Ted, you're Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, that's exactly right. All right, now don't worry, Johnny. I'll be back by nine. Today, I'm going to be reacting to another House of Dragon episode. Golden Tooth is honored to receive you, my Lord Lannister. By the time we are finished with the Riverland scum, the Red Fork will have earned its name. Hmm. I suppose you will make for Harren Hall at once. Tell my brother we are ready to march as soon as Prince Aemond is able to join us on Vega. My men have had a long march. We are most eager to embrace the hospitality of your keep. There's a lion. Kind of an he awkward. Dares to summon me. Are the Lannisters so diminished that they cannot march from the Tooth to Harrenhal without an escort? Tell your brother that if he does not deliver his host to Harrenhal, Daemon's dragon will become the least of his worries. We will make an alliance with the Triarchy. I've had enough of this cursed blockade. Captains of their ships are dangerous mercenaries. A little more than pirates. Yeah. The Triarchy will delight in the chance to terrorize the Sea Snake again. Let them weaken his blockade. The Triarchy not to be trusted. Your father knew this. What has come of our letters to the Greyjoys? They have been to no avail. Though we may draw him in with honey. An offer of marriage, perhaps, to the Dowager Queen. Out of the question. Even if the blockade could be broken, are we to invite these alien raiders into our waters? It's time you set out for Arrenhall, I think. Oh. Your Grace, if Daemon prevails in the Riverlands, I no longer have the numbers to challenge him. The longer we wait, the more chance he will prevail. We would do better to await the High Tower hosts and set out in good time. There is no time. And you yourself? I'll fly out to meet you when the time is right. My uncle is a challenge. I welcome. I want to see that. <laughs> I see we're all agreed. Mother. A word. And boldness is one thing. But over Remind me of your place on the small council. Yikes. Oh, you served the realm well. That need is ended. You are no longer obliged. You have the impetuousness of youth and its arrogance, neither of which is to be desired I in the king. I you of your seat. Dignities of your childhood not yet sufficiently been avenged. You have the gratitude of the crown. That has to be a really terrible position to be in because her entire life was pushed to be this spy, be this ingrained thing that puts our foots our foot in the door as a high tower and not only is her father fired eventually anyways but she is now the person who dedicated her entire life to marry the king that she didn't want to marry lose her friend to have babies when she probably didn't want to have babies with the person that she did like her life wasn't in her own control now these babies that she had that she carried that she raised are turning on her is probably a crazy feeling like i just can't i it's Difficult to not feel bad for her character. Your Grace. Mm -hmm. Bring him forth. Oh, someone's going to get eaten by a dragon. Sir Stephen Darklin, Your Grace. I need more dragon riders for Vermithor and Silverwing. And for Sea Smoke, who I believe misses his bond. There is Princess Reyna. She has attempted it. The dragons here would not take her as a rider. You are of noble birth. Your grandmother's grandmother, Ariana, was born a Targaryen princess. And I have been thinking. I must protest, Your Grace, the risk involved in such a venture. Mm. Your Grace honors me beyond what I deserve. You understand your peril. Sir Stefan. I want something to have a To claim a dragon, you must also be prepared to die. I swore to ward my queen with all my strength and to give my blood for hers. Then perhaps the gods will favor us. Already, I really like him. He just seems so sweet. Please don't be a scene with your mother, please. Brother. Did you say it? The heir for a day. A family. Mm -hmm was just destroyed. You should have been at my side. And instead, you chose to celebrate your own rise. Laughing with the whores. 
I have only ever defended you. And everything I've given you, you've thrown back in my face. I decided, don't, to name a new heir. You are to return to Runestone. Going to just put up with this place. Maybe perhaps the culprit who's been tampering with my peace. A friend by day and a foe by night. Perhaps you resent my being here. Mm. Or are you still in league with your club footed nephew? Or is it Rhaenyra herself? I, I shot you. Whatever your game is strong, I assure you, your king is on his guard. Yes. Okay. It's kind of sad to see Damon losing it because although we've seen him have struggles and be in situations that aren't very favorable to him before, it just seems like he is increasingly going downhill. Oh, so he just, that was it. You weren't going to bid me farewell? There's something wrong with me. Someone poisoned me. From the ghost of Haddon the Black, moaning his curses from King Spire Tower. Drivel, all of it. There are older things in this world than you or I. Or a living memory. You are not the player, but a piece on the board. As am I. She never even wanted it. The crown. Perhaps those who strive for it are the least suited to wear it. Don't lecture me! Viserys never wanted it himself, if you recall. It's not a prize to be won, but a burden to bear. If you have any counsel for dealing with the River Lords, I'd be glad of it. Damon Targaryen asking for help? Council. House Tully is not the largest house in the Riverlands, nor is it the richest, but it is the most stable. But Grover Tully is their Lord Paramount. Without him, they will never raise their banners as one. Then I can do nothing. You? No. I need help, Alice. Do nothing now. In three days' time, the winds will shift. Please don't die. Ooh, so cute. Pyri. Pyri. Lucky Ri. Oh. Sea smoke. Mm. No head us. Ribas. Why is it? Not Sophia. Ribas. No head us. Sea smoke. I wanted him to go to the girl. No. Don't be tricking him and mischievous dragon. I've done it. Wait, are you celebrating? I don't have to call <laughs> I said I wanted Sea Smoke to go to the girl. That doesn't mean I wanted him to reject him. I just thought maybe he would bond with a different dragon or something. No. I know they don't, I guess, pick or call a certain dragon to come out. It happened to probably just be Sea Smoke, but I wish it wasn't the one that they're very questionable about the kind of bond that the dragon had or still has because his rider shouldn't be dead or wasn't confirmed to actually be dead but nobody else knows that it just wish it was one of the ones that were more obviously not bonded with any type of rider for maybe a really long time um that's so sad he just seemed like such a great person and immediately loyal and just immediately so thankful to even have the opportunity I mean, I'm sure that's part of the test. The dragon's like, how do you approach me? How do you still seem? And then changed his mind like, no, like you didn't fully pass. This isn't me accepting you to get on my back. It's me still testing you and I don't like you. This ship will sail in a few days time. The blockade is sure to be challenged, be it by lions or krakens. I wish you to sail with me. There are more experienced men at your service. You distinguished yourself in the Stepstones. And you have the respect of the crew. Is this an order or a request? 
I will expect you to report for your duties on the morrow. As my lordship commands. Bit thin, isn't it? It's either that or the fish. Nothing but fish in this damn city. Makes you sick, doesn't it? Knowing they're banqueting every night at the castle. My girls were taken to the Red Keep a few nights ago. Feasting and merriment for the new Prince Regent. They were well paid and well fed, too. That ain't right. King Viserys loved his feasts and his wine, but never while our yeah. small folk went without. But he's gone now and his rightful heir denied her seat. No use wondering what might have been. And that's what she meant when she said there are multiple ways to win a war. Renera is over here upset because people won't let her fight, so I'm really happy that at least her side, even if it's not her and it's actually the girl who's just really loyal to her, is proving herself and Renera's strategy. This smoke has fled Dragonstone and Sir Stefan was a valiant knight. I myself, if you recall, was in favor of treating with Lord Mutton, but we may yet retake. It is my fault, I think, that you have forgotten to fear me. Well, I mean, like, really not the time for a, um, I told you so? It was worth the risk, no matter the outcome. It's my fault. Sir Stephen went willingly. Might there not be others among the highborn of the Seven Kingdoms? And who will be so foolish as to try? I will look again, but Darklin had the most likely claim. There is good news to be had. The small folk of King's Landing are listening. They are hungry, and they need someone to blame. We have laid the kindling only. Tonight we will light it. Mm. He cannot destroy his own city. Mm. Then let us see to our plan. If I may, Your Grace, this becomes you. Again, happy that the other whispers is working out for her, but it really does show how much Renera cares about people. She feels very guilty for this man that she just met because he had a whole life, honorable night, and now she feels because I stepped in the way, his life is gone. Even with people around her saying, oh, he stepped forward willingly, she's, she feels guilty. She doesn't blame other people for things that she feels are her fault. If anything, she takes on things that aren't. That's the last one. What? They haven't run out, have they? Nothing. Oh. It seems, Your Grace, that the small folk have become restless. So, mm. all the more reason Sir Tyler must break the blockade. In the meantime, the people are hungry. Why is this anger directed at us? It is Rhaenyra the Pretender who ordered the gullet closed and left them all to starve. It is the burden of authority. It does occur to me that Your Grace has yet to name a hand. Prince. I have little patience for the self-important, Lord Laris. But you are as it happens, correct? Every king needs a hand. Make it your responsibility. My prince, it is an honor. I'm not to serve his hand to fetch him. Send <laughs> word to Otto Hydower. You're late. Yikes. I you... am happy to report that His Grace the King has regained consciousness this morning. Not happy news. Something for the pain, I'll see maybe? My brother. He's going to kill him. What do you remember? Nothing. I remember nothing. It seems my brother has a long recovery ahead of him, Grand Maester. See that he is made to rest comfortably. Slightly wondering if he actually does remember anything. Clearly, first instinct is just that he's going to tell the person who he remembers almost tried to kill him in his weakest state, alone in the room, that he doesn't remember anything and he doesn't know what he's talking about. But there is also a chance that he's saying, I genuinely don't remember anything. I'm in a lot of pain. I didn't like you before this, so I just don't want to talk to you. He can barely even speak anyways. So there's a small chance that that, that part's true, maybe? I want my dog. Yes. Oh. See, so wait. It's so cute. You misled me, my lady. There is a large dragon in the Vale. Rumor of it began shortly after the war. It is large and formidable, but alas, wild. A merchant cog, the gay abandon, will take you to Pentos. 
I'll send six good men to protect you on the crossing. I'm probably looking too much into it, but she just seems like she doesn't like her very much. There's an odd element to her character or personality. I feel so bad for Reyna. She has to be so lonely. She's in a place she's never been before. Meanwhile, she's also one of the only people in the family who doesn't feel like she can fulfill her duty or purpose because she can't even claim a dragon when all of the very relevant other people in her family have. I mean, everyone around her has a dragon, except for her. And now even these little babies are basically bonding with the little dragon babies, and she's just alone. I mean, they don't have their mother, and they were sent away too, but they have each other. They're siblings. She's so much further apart from them in relation-wise, so I just feel really bad for her character. But I really don't think that they would be egging on this whole there's a wild dragon out there for no reason. I am starting to think that it's very obvious that she will get a dragon at this point, even if it's not sea smoke and it's just this random wild one. You know you're not fooling anyone. Don't want my men to get the wrong idea. About what? You saved his life, brother. Do you never think about what could be ours? The Driftwood Throne? We spent the whole of our lives in the shadow of the Sea Snake's great castle. The Sea Snake would sooner have High Tide claimed by the sea than call us his sons. Stop wasting your life waiting for something that'll never come. It was a bold attempt. I admire you for it. I have tired of being protected. Jace. They must see in me a ruler. And the symbols of authority are not jewels and gowns, but the shield and the sword. I'm doing all I can. I have directed Lord Mooton to march on Rook's Rest and sent another raven to the Vale. We need Damon and his dragon. May I be free for even one hour of the constant refrain of Damon, Damon, Damon. My queen, our gift is sent. What gift? Oh, wow. That's so sneaky. That's actually crazy. I don't know why I was thinking sent our gift. I mean, did they poison the sheep or something? How would they, where would they have even gotten them? How would that even work? But no, with their own flag showing that they're trying to feed the people and they care about the people. So even with the small rumors of, oh, well, she's the reason why you guys can't eat anyways. It's Renera the Terrible or whatever. That's 100% going to be argued against now because the evidence that she sent them food. So that was a really good scene. He said it's improved. His grace sleeps nine hours of every ten. But it is my sincere hope that his grace will be spared. And what will he be if he lives? <sighs> I have sent ravens again to Highgarden and to Old Town. There has been no word from Sir Otto as of yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sister. I wish to give you my blessing. I wondered if you'd heard from Father. I sent ravens to Highgarden and Old Town, but had no reply. If he wrote letters, it would be to you. You are always his favorite. Otto Hightower is ever resourceful. He will send news when there is news to send. My son, Daron. What's he like? Ten and six now. He's stalwart. Clever. As adept with his loot as he is with his sword. He's kind. Kindness is a quality I found lacking in his brothers. Was it the court? Was it their mother? I'm sure you did your best. Wish us luck, sister. I shall pray to the warrior for your safe return. Really feels like there's nothing there. Spent her last moments with her brother instead of Sir Christian, which makes sense. You should spend it with family, especially when you and Sir Christian aren't apparently that close. Um, but sometimes I really do question if I'm actually watching this show because she has another child? She has a child. Are they springing this on us or did it happen and they just never talked about it and I forgot because I am a goldfish brain. This one stopped singing. I 
Isn't that strange? I hope nothing happens to her because everybody starts turning on the royal family. Yo, where'd you get that food? We're near a ship that came ashore in the middle of the night with gifts from the Queen. She thinks of us even now! Oh, it to me! Let's just go get some more! Get the Queens to the wheelhouse! There's the train of fishes! Oh. Keep moving! The Queen! Get up! No! No! What is happening? No, no, no. Ah, I was talking throughout that entire scene. I'm so sorry, but I don't want anything to happen to Elena. Helena. She literally did nothing wrong. She didn't even want to go outside. She just wanted to look at her crickets or grasshoppers. Locusts? Cicadas. I don't know what they're called. Um, she didn't even want to go outside. Uh, oh. Uh, no. No more. In an hour. The drink takes the pain away. It dulls your mind. All while has exhausted his abilities. He's bound your leg. But you will never run again. I came screaming into the world. My lungs were strong, but my foot was so twisted that my father named it sorcery. People will pity you, and they will stare or turn away. <laughs> and they will underestimate you. And this will be your advantage. Your brother rules in your place now, which means that your life is in danger. Oh, I want Aegon to be helped. He seemed a little bratty, and of course brothers fight. He did some terrible things to Aemon, but there's things about both of the characters that I think are interesting. David, she's gone. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. You needed me. I'm here now. <laughs> I'm here now. <gasps> Sorrowful news from River Run, my king. Lord Grover is dead. Young Oscar Tully is now Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. What is the manner of Lord Grover's passing? Well, he'd been ill, of course. Our own healer, Alice Rivers, volunteered her renowned skills. There was not more to be done. Is he? Does it know that he's blood and needs like the closest? Imagine going home with the dragon. <laughs> Telling his brother who, it seems as if he wished that he could switch places with him because if he was given the opportunity, he would take it. But he just feels even lesser than his brother does because he's not being requested for or acknowledged in any way. I mean, this one's even hiding the fact that he would have silver hair. Meanwhile, this one doesn't. So, so nice to see this dragon essentially hunt him down and hand picked him like no i want you i can smell you i don't know i can sense your presence whatever it is he picked him that is so cute i am excited for that one your banners were carried from the ship into the city i thought you'd be pleased i do not think i can win this war my own son questions my capabilities he thinks i need daemon at my side he has ever done what suits daemon he was everything I wanted to be. Carefree. And dangerous. A man. And I was what he wanted. Cherished by my father and made my father's heir. We were halves of a whole. He wished to possess me but not to be possessed. And to see me take hold finally of what he always believed to be his. 
I fear he may have turned against me. It is more his way to disappear. In either case, I have lost him. And Caraxes with him. I have no army. You have the Valarian fleet and the men who fight in it. You have me. It was my father who was still a child. He had his pleasure with me. But his seed had taken root. There is a scar here as well. I'm so sorry. I swore to myself I would never trust another. This world is cold and cruel, and there are few in it who are steadfast. You, I think, are steadfast. I believe you are meant to be queen. Oh. The dragon sea smoke has been sighted flying over Spice Town. He has a rider. Who? Impossible to tell from the ground. Oh, don't don't attack him. Mother! Oh. No, it didn't. Why did I always think that there's an extra 15 minutes to the show and it's always just the credits and the next trailer? I fall for it every time. Um, okay, well, I also wanted to cover Jace. I don't think that I picked up the right message from that scene. I was thinking, oh wow, he admires her so much. He believes in her. He loves that it's his mother and her, his ruler, or sees her as a ruler, but it's also his mother, so he cares about her, but he admires her and respects her. Whereas Rhaenyra got a completely different side of it because the second that he said, oh, well, why don't we just wait for Damon or why don't you ask Damon? The second Damon's brought up, it just has a really bad taste in Rhaenyra's mouth because she feels there's probably no reason for Jace to even ask about him. One, it's not his father directly, so why are you even asking about this person? And two, it shouldn't be looked at us as partners or him as king and I should ask his opinion. I am, I am queen, he abandoned me. So he's kind of choosing to be out of the picture. I shouldn't wait for his approval or wait for his word. I shouldn't ask her send a raven. And she probably is feeling like, okay, well, if it was him in this position, no one would ask him, and these people wouldn't expect this, or ask about me, and what would Renera do? It would just be about Damon. But yeah, there were interesting things in this episode. I kind of wish that there was a little bit more action. It feels a little bit more slow pace. Where episode four feels like, wow, that was the episode where a lot happened and everything else is kind of just build up and leading to something else. So it's almost constant anticipation. Whereas I thought Game of Thrones did a really good job at having a few scenes anticipate things and have a lot of build up, but then other things were coming to a conclusion so you still had the satisfaction of, wow, a lot happened this episode. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already, make sure you check out my live stream on Twitch um, where I stream three times a week and then also my other YouTube channel that's not fully dead. Um, and then my Patreon, where I have more content that I get to post there that I don't post here. And I'll see you all next time. I, I may be